This is a QQQ stock chart that I traded this week. All the green that you see is me buying the stock or covering the position. And all the red that you see is me selling a stock or short the stock. In this video, I teach you how to set up your Tingle Swim, all the in and out, the tips and trick, and also how to reduce the lag that most traders seem to complain about this platform. I have used various platforms in the past, and I am now still using two other platforms alongside with Tingle Swim, which is Trade Zero Pro and also Dash Trader Pro. I'm not going as far as saying Tingle Swim is a perfect platform. I understand they have ton of flaw, but it is my favorite platform out of all the platforms that I have tried in the past. Last year in 2021, I was able to make $1,053,000 on this platform alone. In day trading, I am a scalper, which means I'm in and out position within minutes, sometimes within seconds. For example, this is a QQQ stock chart that I traded this week. All the green that you see is me buying the stock or covering the position. And all the red that you see is me selling a stock or short the stock. As you can see, I traded QQQ every single day for the past week. And QQQ is only one of the five to 10 stock that I traded per day. For example, I also traded Facebook the past Thursday when it was active and also Snapchat on the Friday when it had 50% move. Now that I have shown you guys my qualification about this platform, let's get into it. Now, before we log into the platform, we're going to start with the login screen, which is one of the key steps that can help you reduce your lag that people often look over. And once you're in the login screen, you will click on the tool icon and in here you will see the RAM uses and also the GPU or CPU uses. Do not quote me on that. But the thing is, this uh, this platform right here can use ton of RAM. So make sure you upgrade your RAM. My RAM is around 32 gig gigabit. So yeah, I'm going to choose one of the high value right here. I'm choose 8 gigabit, I think. Uh, and also, same thing with GPU. I like to use the middle button. I don't think it's uh, GPU or CPU matter much, but the RAM is what it used a lot. Um, so yes, after that, click on save. Once you do that, just start locking it. This is most likely gonna be your default platform once you lock in, but if it's not, it doesn't matter. What you wanna do is click on setup, and after that, go on application setting. And from here, we can change a few things that will help you reduce your lag. So the first thing you wanna do is go to order. Make sure you uncheck the ch check box, show order confirmation. And after that, you go to active trader, change this. Normally, you're gonna start at 500 millisecond. Make sure it's at zero, otherwise you can have some lag on active trader. And after that, chain this to, it can start out of five, chain it to three. This right here is basically when the active trader, when the price shoot up and the active trader not center anymore, it will center back where it, the middle price is after three seconds. After that, click on system. This quote speed right here, make sure it's on real time, no delay. I did not know why, but think of swam check. I think this platform is super slow. If your computer is not fast, that's why you make it too fast. Delay one second. But what you want to do is go on, click on real time, no delay. Otherwise, you can be delayed one second. And you do not want that as an uh, active trader. And for look and feel, I like to use dark, small, normal. Now, we will go to auto default and hot key later. But first, I want to show you guys how to set up the chart. So click on apply setting. And now we're going to go to chart. On chart, tape in any symbol you like, for example, QQQ. And after that, chain this right here to four. And it will st split into four symbol. And make sure you, uh, man, I mess up. I thought I clicked the record button, but it turned out I did not. So I did this whole tutorial without clicking the record button. So yes, make sure you guys click the like button and subscribe button for me to do this all over again. So again, we go to chart, click on the symbol. I pick QQQ. And after that, you change this to four over here. And after that, what you want to do is click on this to live news and level two. And this right here, you want to match exactly this ticker right here because we can use that as a active trader. So get rid of that active trader. I like to my have my active trader really long so I can see the whole price list. If anything I want to click, I can click down here or up there. Down here or up there, okay? Oh, make sure to put this down and you will see auto send. If you do not click auto send, it will pop up this alert right here. And you have to click send, which is double click and it's gonna take more time and you wanna get in and out of the position super fast. So you always wanna make sure it's auto send. So, yep, control X, cancel. I have a hotkey for cancel right now. That's why I use control X. I will show you guys that later. So whatever ticker you chain right here will affect this one, for example, spy. And it will chain right there, all the news, level two, and the um, the active trader. So as well as you chain it over here, it also chained to this one right there. So yes, what I like to keep on the 
active trader, I do not like to see any of my position or any single thing like that. Uh, actually, I, not position, but day buy and sell, how much I buy and sell, profit loss open or profit loss today. Because, because if I see my profit loss throughout the day, uh, it will affect my emotion while I'm in the trade. So yes, I do not like to see that after I'm done with the trade, then it will not affect my emotion. So this is what exactly what you have. And you do not like to have your life news that long because you only want to, the only one that important is the first few one right here, as well as your level two is this is enough. Um, because especially I would like to have level two on the, my other broker that show me the hot level. This one doesn't. So the only few ticker I look at is only few up top right here and the rest is active trader. So yes, I will do that again on this side so you guys can follow. So again, let's go spy and you want to change this right here to yellow. Since you already have red right here, if you link to red, it will link to that. And link this to yellow and click on active, oh no, not active trader, but level two and live news. Drag it over so this will pop up. Oh, you do not have active trader. So, and drag down. There we go. And this right here would have active, uh, no, not time to sell, active trader right there. And back in the day, I do use time or sell, right? But honestly, uh, Nowadays, I do not use time of sell. So if you like to use time of sell, you can click time of sell and it should pop up, but you just had to drag it out more. You just take off of more of my real estate and I do not use time of sell that much as I noticed. So uh, some people call the book, some people swear by it, but I used to use it just to see how fast it run. It's run so fast during active time, which is most of the time I'm trading. So it's almost impossible for me to see uh, all the time and sell like, <laughs> especially for small cap stock where people just in and out like a uh, million uh, in million a position within a minute. So yeah, you're not gonna able to see it all. So I feel like there's no point. I just see how fast the level two run to kind of predict the bottoms. So yes, um, I do not use time to sell, but you can. So click time and tell right here if you want to use it. Okay, and drag this down here. Make sure to put it down, auto check, auto send. And uh, right here, right, the button that I like to use is your preference, but mine, I do not buy market. I do not sell market. Think or swim, right? They say they sell your order flow to another person. So if you buy and sell market, most likely you get a little bit bad feel. So. That's one of the main reason that why most trader complain about Tinkleswim because they actually sell your order flow to another, um, what is it called, route routing um, institution, whatever. But yes, so I do not buy market or sell market. I like to know what price I get in at uh, and what price I'm getting out at. So yes, I always buy the bid and sell the ass. And I do not reverse or, oh, I keep flatten and cancel. So buy the ass, buy the bid, and after that, sell the ass, sell the bid. Okay, and drag it all up here by ass, like by bid up top, up, oh, cancel all the way at the bottom, uh, sell bid, oh, I like not, and where sell ass, sell ass right here, right there, and click OK, and it should pop out like that. Same thing with this side, do one more time to get ready to sell market, reverse, not never reverse. Um, you can reverse if you want, but again, that's basically buy market again and sell market again. You do not want to do that with this platform, in my opinion. Do not uh, do what you want, but in my opinion, sell bid, sell ass, buy bid, buy ass. Okay. Up oh, this, this. Okay. Buy bid. I like to bid to be on top of ass. That's why. Okay. So this, this, drag it up. And oh, turn on, I cannot. Okay, all right, okay, under. Okay, so it will look like this again. And if this is what I used to do all the time. I always click this button. If I did not, I'm, I was not comfortable using hotkey and the only hotkey button I have at the time was cancel X. I use this for a while. And after that, I changed to using hotkey all the time and we go over that. Now, again, we will see this right here this is your order default. You can change the size of it anytime you want. And every single time you change to five, you click is buy five instead of buy one, 10, click buy 10 instead of buy one. Okay, now how to change this value right here. I will show you guys, application setting. And after that, go to hotkeys and up order default. And this order default right here, you can change to 100, 
increment by, uh, let's say, by five, whatever, right? Just example, 100. And when every time you click increment, this is what it means by five right there. So yes, um, what I recommend you guys to use is application setting, right? And on the default, change to one. One. That's all you need because most likely you are not a profitable trader if you probably watch this video. Otherwise, you have your own platform that you're comfortable with. Um, so yeah, so you click on apply right here. It will show like this. And every single time you click on, you go up by one. And the reason why I told you guys to use this is because Tingle Swim is with TD Ameritrade. That means they are free brokers. So buy and sell does not cost you anything. Whereas back in the day where buy and sell cost, buy, it cost me $6.99. Sell cost me $6.99. So yes, back in the day, I do try to uh, trade to make back my commission, which I should not even because the thing is, I'm just losing more money at a faster rate, especially when I'm not a profitable trader. Um, so yes, when you first start out, you want to lose as little as money as possible until you find a profitable uh, method, then you can size up. It can size up so fast that more than you can imagine. So yes, you can size up pretty fast. So don't worry about sizing up. The first thing you need to do is find a way to be consistent. If you're not even consistent, there's no point in sizing up because you try to lose as little money as possible. Most people in this game right here, 99% of trader fail is because they lost all the money before they even find out a profitable way to trade. Uh, how to control the emotion, their trading setup, and every single thing. So yes, lose little money as possible. Okay, enough with the rant. Let's continue. So yes, you guys almost done. So uh, yeah, uh, right here, what you want to do is I would show you guys my setup, application setting for hotkeys. Here's the active trader. This right here, make sure it's enabled because a lot of people do not click enable and they say, why my active trader not uh, working, hotkey not working. This is the main reason right here. Click it, enable. So yeah, this is all my hotkey that I use. Um, so you guys can use it if you like, but this is all the hotkey that I use for all the hot button right here, basically. Uh, what is it called? And control Z to flat position. That's very important. I just recently add that into my thing. I like to uh, get out super fast now, especially in slow market. I do not want the whole losing trade. So yes, apply setting. And now we can go to one of the most important thing that people do look over. Okay, so which is right? Okay, <laughs> right here. Um, this this bar right here. You can get rid of it by doing that. Click over here. Normally, a lot of time I get rid of it. Keep one on top. I have multiple screen. I keep one right here and get rid of it when I do not need it. And to get this platform again, let's say if you have multiple screen, you do not want to do this all over again. What you want to do is click this button right here. Click detach. Voila. Pop out somewhere else. Another screen just like it. And you can place it onto another platform. Okay. Then click X. After that, uh, what you want to do is, uh, okay, let's go back. I'm all over the place. Okay, here, live news. You already have news right here. You do not need news right there. This is news for every ticker that you click on. So yeah, so uh, you do not need this. So how to, del okay, delete, delete, delete gadget and trader TV. You do not watch that. You could if you want. But yeah, um, and also this, I do not use the chart. So all I have is two watch lists. That watch list, and what do you want to do? Add another watch list. Watch list. Okay, this watch list right here is going to be important because it's going to be your current position. So every single time, let's for example, buy, it will show up on this right here that you are buying a stock. And um, cancel, get away. So you will know that how many position you have normally customized. Uh, what is it called? Uh, you... Basically, bid ask, you do not need that. Last net chain and your position value. Quantity, okay. That's all you need. Um, you actually don't need net chain. But yeah, normally I don't look at this right here. I just have this right there. But the thing is, this is useful when the platform is lagged. For example, if you click right here, Sorry for the kid interruption. Now let's get back. Okay, now, like I say again, once you show this, during the lag time, 
let's say for example during the amc and gme run this platform is super lag and what you want to do is when you cancel this right here even though you click cancel even though this thing sh disappear this still show now when this show like this even though this disappear this disappear you click flatten ton of time but this still show that mean that your position still out there and most likely if it hit that price it probably feel and you are still in the position doesn't matter if the flat position is already uh black like this but you are still in position um, now this happened during really really laggy time now when that happened what you want to do is um click on support and try to get live chat uh what is it called try to get uh, live support and what is it called create requests because it's going to take you a long time just to reach uh, a live representative um I think I got a little bit priority, so a little bit faster for me. But beside that, most people will take really, really long time. And what happened is you can complain about your situation and most likely they will refund half of your money back uh, or part of it. One time I got refund the whole money because that stock was not shortable. And for some reason, I keep trying to get out. I click flatten a ton of time, sell and every single thing. And it turned out that from longing the stock, I become shorting the stock and my position was negative by the time i realized that i'm still in position so that time they actually give me my full money back but a lot of time they only give you half money back so that's the bad thing about it during super active time though doesn't happen often and lastly for you guys who stay until the end i will tell you guys one of the trick that most likely why your platform is super laggy compared to mine is because this platform right here you have to apply and say that you want advanced option on your platform. Now, before you can actually do this by yourself, by going to tdrmeritrade.com and check box for the advanced option. But now they actually make you call in and say that you want advanced trading option. And they actually ask you your reason why. Now, you know you have the option or not by if you check your chart and click on the tool icon, and if you were not able to show your tray or even when you click show your tray right even when you click show your tray it doesn't pop up it doesn't pop up that means you do not have advanced option and what i want to tell you guys i almost forgot is click on customize because you do not want, only want to see one day by one minute you want to see multiple so click on customize list uh chain this right here uh you can click on uh, whatever chain this edit go to time frame one day one minute instead of one day one minute click on five day actually 15 day one minute whatever the maximum they gave you 20 day one minute so yes before they only even give you five I wonder why okay but yeah so 20 day one minute and you were apply uh huh uh huh oh not working okay okay because I did not select the time frame okay so 20 day one minute there we go voila see now it show you Friday. I was a little bit chilling doing thing. I normally take lunch. That's why you do not see this break right here. That's a lunch break. Okay, not trading. And I also trade other stock as well. This there is more active. Do not go out for lunch. I don't think so. But yeah, as you can see, I place multiple trade day in and out. And this is just with one ticker. Let's check another one. Facebook. On I only trade on the day it active. Facebook was active because of the 25% gap down that day. That was crazy. 25% gap down for Facebook. Sam asked Snap. Nowadays, uh, what is it called? Small cap been really slow. So I start to find my way in the big cap. Uh, it worked out decently. But yes, that is it for this video. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys want more educational video like this, click the thumb up button.